Welcome to the Human Anatomy Lab Bio 11 at Irvine Valley College. I am Dr. Neda Sadegiani with Dr. Sayed Ahmad Panah. In this session, we show the equipment and the tools you need for working with cat, skinning cat and neck muscles. The equipment that you need are your lab coat. You can use goggles and mask if you need. The tools you need gloves, pro, scalpel, scissors, and tweezer. Some paper towel later if you need. Okay, I'm gonna clear my gloves. Cover my skin as much as I can. It's better to not using your jewelers or uh, watch because later you're gonna touch your cat and it uh, doesn't smell very good. This is our cat. They are coming in a separate bag and uh, immersed to the uh, preservative fluid to keep the uh, tissue moist and uh, avoiding bacterial infection. After you open the bag, there is a tag that each group are assigned, uh, each cat is assigned for uh, each group, uh, two or three students depending, and uh, you open the cat, you take the cat out, irritation on eyes and skin but it's temporary and after you uh, go home take a shower and it will pass and you see the cat is uh, clean you see a hole here that the neck was uh, closed this uh, opening on the neck is because they take the blood out and they inject the two different color red and blue dyes to later we can be able to uh, distinguish between the veins and arteries. The skinning cat takes a long time and you have to be careful to not cutting muscles underneath of the skin. For this reason we for to have a guideline we line up the cat. How? We have one transverse in the axillary region, one passing through in the midline of the body, reaching down we in the uh, inguinal region, we cut to the wrist. And for opening the skin on upper arm, we cut the skin on the, to the or four leg to the wrist as well. To start with, we get the scissor in the middle of the neck. In this region, we separate the skin from the underneath connective tissue and make it small incision here. Very careful. Be very careful with your scissor. The other side. Cut the midline of the neck, and we separate. Fingers. Take the finger underneath and separate the skin to make sure not cutting the. Then I'm going to get. 
give it very shallow cut straight down. You see, you can just separate skin and then the meat also. Or this white part is the connective tissue and you can use your probe to separate the skin from the muscle. These yellow parts are uh, adipos or fat. Cords coming connecting to the small so see these cords. They are capillaries going to the skin and we have some white ones that are, are uh, neurons to innervating the skin which is responsible to respond to stimuli. As I said, you can use your hand, your fingers, with a little bit of the pressure with one hand, you can just hold it, pull the skin, and with their finger, you are able to separate the skin from the connective tissue and muscle. Separating the skin from fascia underneath body tissue using my thumb. I prefer using my fingers, not using too much of a scalp. The seat. This is look like skin peeling banana. region so using your fingers okay when you reach to this area you see the vein here we wanted to preserve this vein, so very carefully separate from the skin and in any place that you pass along the body and you see these big veins or arteries, make sure to not cutting them. So with the back part of your prop, Works like your finger, you can spray the skin. Okay. 
she ties around the wrist. tissue connected to the muscle so we have to be careful I'm very careful uh, when I take the skin, this neck area. This is the hardest part when removing skin from connective tissue here. Fatty tissue, you see. To expose the organs underneath the muscle, underneath the integument. She explained it takes some time. It takes time. And skinning the cat. to its bag and close. Tag it each group, tag and name, and put name. 